In this tutorial I'll show you how to make a scene like this using a Force Pack Lite, the free version, and uh, 3ds Max with Arnold Renderer. So let's get to it. I've already installed Force Pack, as you can see I have my Force Pack Lite up here, and you can install it by going to uh, iTusoft uh, Products Force Pack and uh, download now and you have to install the free version you can see it has a lot of restrictions uh, but it's free and merging I also have already made into the scene and I'm gonna use uh, all the objects in here and as you can see in the top view I've already decided or drawn where I want my grass and my uh, trees. The green one is tree, uh, the trees, uh, and it's just a shape. Uh, and I can edit it. The house is here, so you can see I want the trees. If I want them further away from the house, I can just uh, get my vertex points and, and move them a, a bit further away from the house or uh, closer to the house. Um, the grass is the purple one and the blue one is for ending the horizon otherwise you'll you'll see the background through the the trees uh, that's why the blue is there yeah. so I have the house in here and first I'm gonna um, put some lights in the scene I'm gonna use a sun uh, positioner and the sun positioner you'll find uh, under lights it's right here and I'm gonna position the compass with uh, north uh, pointing up and um, the sun here and I want the time to be uh, let's say in 10.30 um, and uh, I want it later the year October light I think and um, I'm gonna choose Denmark where I live so uh, I'll be familiar with the light. So now I have the light in the positioner. I'm gonna render this to see how the, uh, the light's gonna work. To render this, I'm gonna use uh, Active Shade and Arnold Renderer. So I have chosen Active Shade mode and Arnold Renderer, and I'm gonna render uh, the picture. And uh, the sun is very bright, so I'm gonna put in a camera in the scene by hitting Control C. And now I have a physical camera, and I'm gonna go down to target in my camera and set the value to you can see 13 is a pretty good value. I'm just gonna position my camera where I want it to be. Uh, I could play around some more with the uh, lighting, but, but I'm satisfied with this, so now I'm just gonna position the camera. And um, if I want to see the things I'm rendering uh, while adjusting in the other windows, I have to click this padlock there. And now when I choose another window, it will still uh, render um, the f fourth window here. So you can, I can now take my camera and go a bit closer and my target camera I want to look at the woman up here and she's right about there and I actually think this is uh, this this is a good the light is uh, maybe a bit too bright so I can again choose my camera and go up a bit uh, in the camera I think uh, 13 and a half maybe yeah so now I'm done with uh, the lighting uh, and uh, I'll just show you um, other times you can see so you can see the the light changes it's not gonna look like this when I render I'll just go away from active shade and show you how it's gonna look so I'm going in production mode. I'm going to choose on a renderer. 
I'm gonna render the, the image again. Um, the shadows become clearer now. Okay, I'm putting that back to 10.30 and we should be uh, ready to put in some trees and some grass. I have forest back installed in my menu bar up here, but if you haven't for some reason you can find it under create and down i2 soft and we're gonna choose forest light and we're gonna go to library and select uh, from the library the library uh, contains a lot of plants but uh, they're all included in the, the forest pro pack so we don't have many trees or grass to choose from I'm just gonna show where to find the, the free trees it's in starter library and there's only one tree available it's the silver marble one I'm gonna choose Arnold render for materials and import selected and then I'm gonna click on uh, the green uh, shape and as you can see that's a lot of trees and they're f very big so I'm gonna go in modifier and uh, first I'm gonna change the size on the transform I'm gonna enable uh, all the transformations and uh, down in scale I'm gonna scale it from 15% to 80% so uh, I think that that will do the trees, uh, the, uh, a lot of trees and the distribution of the trees, you can choose uh, different uh, methods and um, this one is dense and I'm gonna choose very scattered, you can see only a few trees scattered, some more trees and those I like best are spread 1 to 4, I'm gonna choose spread 4 and I have trees in, in the scene and I'll go render it's uh, kind of a big render I'm just gonna stop that and choose a very small render um, this is for the last picture I'm just gonna choose 640 by uh, 350 and that's by 360 if I'm not satisfied with the position of the trees I can uh, of course move my shape around that will give me uh, uh, trees but I can also choose a different seed like uh, if you play Minecraft you know what I mean I'm gonna stop this and I'm gonna choose a different seed I have prepared one let's see if I can remember the name it's on the general and I'm gonna take one two three four four zero and I'm gonna render that and I like this distribution of trees around the house so uh, I'll stick to that but you can when you render just to uh, choose a different seat until you get one you like we're just gonna wait for this to to render yeah it, it looks okay I'm gonna cancel that and I'm gonna put in the grass and same method I'm choosing forest back from here forest light select the library and this time we're gonna go on presets and layered lawns and take this uh, it's the only one for free it's in Arnold renderer import click on the grass shape just gonna say ok to scaling and there's uh, my grass I'm just gonna just one thing in the grass uh, that's the vertical scale 
because I think this uh, it's not high enough. It doesn't look like a, a forest. So I'm just going to scale that a bit. On the scale, it's uh, uniform. So I'm just going to say no to that. None and 250 in uh, the y dimension. So it should be a bit taller now. And if I choose my grass, I'm just going to. It's a bit too high. So I'm just going to put it a bit down like that. So this is my grass and uh, when I render it should be grey. Because uh, Arnold uh, have to support uh, all the material it isn't. Um, there's one setting you must do because it, would, it will be grey by default and it's in your render menu on the system you have to uh, check this legacy we can, we can try without it as you can see then the material will just be grey so uh, remember to click legacy 3ds max support Okay, I'm done, but as you can see, you can see through the trees, uh, see the horizon, and we have to block that with something. I'm just going to block it with trees, that's why I have the, the last shape here. So, into forest pack again, forest light, select from library, back to 3D starter library, and back to the tree. It's an Arnold material, and I'm going to import that to that one. It's uh, by default the very dense forest, and that's okay with me. Just gonna, and it's very large, and just gonna put it down here, and I, and I will scale it a bit in transformation. I'll say it's uh, ah, that's a bit too small. That should do it. it. You can see the orange is filling the the gaps in the horizon. So the picture should be done. I'm just gonna try a small renderer here to see what it looks like. And now the rendering is done and it looks good so I'm just gonna render it in, in that large mode. And then we're done.